Hello once again, my people, it is I, Veed, and welcome back to Camp Buddy. Last episode, um, Tyga was an asshole and burnt our turtle, but then he became, like, a, I guess a sweet, soft bitch, I guess? Um, yeah, don't really know entirely, like, what fully happened, but Edward gave him a bitch slap and we're here for it. So let's just go and see what this episode takes us to, shall we? Let's fucking go, bitch. <clears throat> Come in. Oh my god, I have to do this fucking voice? Oh jeez. Good morning, sir. I brought Aiden with me as you requested. We're- oh Jesus, now my computer is being like- Ugh. We're sorry it took us a while. We had to take some of the mail along the way. We- we had to take care of some mail along the way. They I can read. Hmm. What's up, Grams? Are we having a meet- uh, uh, having a meeting about the camp's bill again? Cause I'm al I've already told you to cut down on the air conditioning. No, this is about a separate matter. I'm just concerned with the state of the camp right now. If we don't get more campers for the next summer session, this place is going to close. What? Next summer season? Does that mean- Yes, Yoshinori. I've decided to continue Camp Buddy for the foreseeable future. Therefore, this year will not be the last batch. What? Wh what? B really? Whoa. Whoa, Gramps, are you for real? This is real great news. Yes. Keep this fucking shit alive. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I should probably be sleeping right now. What made you change your mind? I was so sure that it was time for me to pack my stuff after this term ended. <laughs> See, Dad? I told you they would like the surprise. Yuri? Yuri? You knew about this? That's right. Yes, Dad and I talked about it last night. <clears throat> I think you all might have completely neglected the very first thing I said this meeting. Mm. To repeat... If we don't get any new campers soon, we won't be able to continue running the camp until next season. Until next summer. Well, the camp's bills certainly aren't getting any easier to manage. I can see where Sergoro is coming from. Well. After some consideration, I've decided to be upfront with you all. So listen up. This camp is in dire financial situation. Yeah, it's not the best. <laughs> The fact of the matter is that we have lost too many scouts and our reputation has plummeted too far down for us to reasonably expect to get more. I mean, with the whole thing that happened last year? Yeah, no, we're not going to get any shit, bitch. Is this because of the incident last year? Believe it or not, that only played a small part in the current situation. As you may know, we have at least three, three branches... Brand Branches of Camp Buddy, including this one, with the other two managed by me and my business partners. However, but those two other branches did not open for this year's summer season. Our stockholders and sponsors have, deci have decided to end the contract and any possibility of renewal. How did that happen? What happened, sir? I thought that the only branches have been—I thought the other branches have been doing well all these all these years. Well, that's not true, Yoshi. It's the reason why Dad let me help you out here in the first place. It's because the other branches have already closed down, including the one they used to work in. What? What? And all this time, it sounded like the place was the worst performing one. Just what the heck happened? As shameful it is to admit, it is due to my own management. I was not able to oversee these camps properly. Seems that my business partners did not share the same vision that I had for Camp Buddy. And another part of the problem is that I wasn't as enthusiastic as I used to be. Yeah, I mean, like, you came in and you were fucking cruel, bitch. Just like Tyga. But you know what? You've gotten better, and we like our daddy grandpa. We like our, we like our silver fox dad. The lack of passion of the leaders and scoutmasters reflected on the camp's performances, delivering an underwhelming experience for the campers. And this chain of negligence continued until our campers lost their interest, resulting in fewer and fewer recruits as the years went by. Last year was the last batch for the two other branches. Continuing to host those camps was no longer feasible. The main reason we still had many visitors last year at the event that you organized was because I was trying to convince our sponsors to help us continue our cause. Oh, I failed at that moment and disappointed everyone. Yeah, I mean, that was the dodgeball competition, so like... At least I think it was dodgeball. Did it say specifically what it was? I'm assuming it was dodgeball. Silence. We've already talked about this, Yoshinori. You did your best you could, even without my guidance. 
What happened last year is not just your shortcoming, it's mine as well. All of us are responsible for it. That's true. When Dad told me he was about to close down this branch as well, I just couldn't let it end like that. I knew I had to convince him not to give up on his dream. Never give up. Camp Buddy isn't just your own dream anymore, sir. It's ours, too. Yeah. Right, and this place isn't just our dream. It's our home, too. Yes, we're family here in this society, bitch. I agree. We're a family. Oh, we're a family here. Nothing can take away our home from us. Oh, look at Goro. He's so nice. He's like, so like, my children are so kind. I have no words to describe how proud I am of all of you. Dad. Daddy. <laughs> oh, it's dad, like actual daddy. <laughs> Sorry, that part is still going to fucking kill me. All right, listen up. I've already made my mind to continue Camp Buddy, and I've gathered you here for that reason. We're going to do whatever it takes to keep our home and make this family as big as we can. We're all aware of the camp's current situation. We have to... <sighs> After this, I'm going to bed. <laughs> we have to make some changes around here if we want to keep this place open and we need to make them fast. Hmm. The main problem lies with the camp's financial standing. With no sponsors to, take to back us up, we are barely holding this place together. <laughs> With the funds that we have in reserve. And I have the hiccups now too, bitch. Today's going great for me. Hey, I know. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Can't we cut down on the bills or something? Maybe we can save some money on water or power. Well. We've already lowered the electricity usage to the bare minimum. The cabins not in use don't even have any power or water going into them. And all the scouts already know to conserve. Except for Yuichi. Let's see. Cutting down on expenses won't solve this situation. We're bound to cut uh, close down if we don't get a new investor. I agree. You're right, sir. With minimal funds, not only will we try will we be struggling with our monthly bills, we may also may not be able to uh per <sighs> We also may not be able to provide a variety of activities for our campers in the near future. Precisely. If we settle for fewer half-hearted activities, campers will only lose interest. Sounds like me when I was a Boy Scout. Like, me being a Boy Scout fucking sucked. Fun fact, I used to be a Boy Scout, which is probably why I'm so gay right now. But you know what? I don't have daddy issues. That's a lie. Never. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna cut on this conversation right now. Cool. And with less interest in the camp, we'd have fewer and fewer enrollees. Sounds bad. And with fewer enrollees, we won't, we won't even have the budget to pay our bills. We'll run out of the funds eventually, and that's right. We'll be bankrupt. That's never a good sign. Like, that's never a good thought to have. Nobody wants to be bankrupt in a society. <laughs> Isn't there anything that we can do then? Don't you have investor friends, Gramps? Aiden? Aiden, it doesn't work like that. Investing in a place like Camp Buddy means a lot of money. In addition, persuading an investor might not be more than a pipe dream right now, considering our reputation and the re- uh, re- What the fuck? <laughs> Is that supposed- to... That's supposed to be recent, okay. Uh, considering our reputation and the recent shutdown of our other two other branches. Hmm. How about we focus instead on getting more recruits for the next summer while we look for probable investors? I'm sure if we gather enough enrollees, the funds that will uh, that will come with them should suffice to run the camp for a year. We can keep it running like that until we find an investor. I understand. That is the only option we have given. Uh, we have given the circumstances. But then again, based on this year's statistics, the amount of enrollees have dropped significantly. Let's see. How can we possibly turn that around? I know what to do. I have an idea, sir. Yes, because Yoshi Nori is all about those fucking ideas. Yes, Dad, go. How about we overhaul the camp, the current camp setup? Hmm. We can improve our existing facilities and conceptualize new activities, and on top of that, we make a full-blown ad, ad campaign to generate publicity for Camp Buddy. What? Isn't that too risky, Yoshi? He's all about the risk, baby. Isn't that too risky, Yoshi? Using the only funds we have left for a gamble of faith? That is true there. Although, I believe it's a risk worth taking. Yeah. Yeah, and if we don't take this chance, we'll be forced to close down anyway, so why not go all out now? I 
disagree. We don't have to use up all of our research funds. I was going to suggest that we have some sort of fundraising campaign. We could get the community involved to help out with the camp. Is that so? You can't be serious, Yoshinori. Everyone in the neighborhood areas have heard the negative rumors surrounding our camp. They'll laugh in our faces when we ask them for help, and I can't blame them. This was a bad idea. I shouldn't have dragged you all into this as well. But, wait, 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 sir. Yeah, I mean, like, okay. Don't lose faith in your small children. Um, we fucking got this in the bag, bitch. Yo, uh, Yoichi is a great actor, so he can go out and fucking, like, go out into town and just, like, pull out his puppy dog eye look. Like, yes, bitch. Uh, wait, wait, sir. You shouldn't have to shoulder this burden alone. Everyone needs to do their part, too. After all, we're a family here, remember? Hmm. We just need to do our best and give and get everyone to work as a team. Exactly then tell me, just how do you plan to carry out this fundraising campaign? Hmm. We can go door-to-door. Uh, door door. Our scouts can participate in these activities as well. Together, we'll get people to support the camp. You You've got to be kidding me. Should we really stoop so low? It's humiliating to go door-to-door -door just to beg. But, I mean, you can just be like Aaron Burr and just go door-to-door -to, -door to just kind of, uh, to kind of, like, propose your campaign i mean sure just like aaron burr you might be able to like lose only because Alexander Am hamilton just be ha had like the popular vote to um thomas jefferson but like come on bitch like it's worth trying sorry i like him i like hamilton i like musicals too much actually dad it's not that uncommon there are quite a few organizations that go around town asking for help from the general public and besides, it wouldn't just be to earn donations. We could also spread information about the camp to the community to draw in more recruits. That's right. That's right, Yuri. We can make some flyers like we used to do. If I remember correctly, most of our enrollees this year only joined the camp thanks to those old flyers. Huh? But hiring someone to produce new flyers, that would be even more expensive. We'd just be sinking money into something without a guaranteed payoff. That's not true, Dad. We have a lot of campers here who are quite talented and would be more than happy to participate in making some posters. <clears throat> Hunter. In fact, I believe Mr. What the fuck did I tell you? I believe Mr. Springfield and Mr. Fitzpatrick would both be excited to have an art project to work on. Even though Edwards is going to be like, that looks like trash. Get it out of my fucking face. Let's go to Starbs. Hey, I know. Oh, and I can make some baked goods to sell. Everyone loves a good cookie or cupcake. What better way to wash out the bad taste of our old reputation than with sweets? Sure I'm still not sure. All of these are time-consuming tasks, and I don't know if I can manage to organize them all alone. No problem. Well, you're not alone, Grams. We're your loyal scoutmasters here to support you. You can leave announcing the activities to me and Aiden, Dad. I'm sure they'll all be thrilled to help. This is so exciting! Come on, Aiden, let's go gather the scouts now! And then tell me about your alone time with Yoshinori. Like, I really want to know that. Whoa! Whoa! You fucking dragged her fucking yay! I've been saying that a lot recently. Y Yuri! Oh, wait, no. Y Yuri. There we go. <clears throat> I still don't know how you'll manage all these different activities. Do we even have enough manpower for all of them? Of Actually, I was worried about that as well. With the end of the term so close, we have quite a limited amount of time. Hmm. Perhaps we should consider, consider taking in some volunteers. I'm not sure if there's anyone from outside who's willing to volunteer, sir. Not with our current standing, at least. But I'll try and look for someone. Hopefully I can get someone as hardworking and capable as Aiden. Alright, All right, I'll be focusing on scouting potential investors while you're all busy. That's a great idea, sir. You just leave all the supervision work to me. All right. all right, Yoshinori. I'm counting on you. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. Bye, bitch. Impressive. You've really grown to be such a dependable leader, Yoshinori. That took half of the episode. <laughs> just want to point that out. <sighs> as much as I wanted to take my mind off my journal, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. All the pictures I took were in there, too. And just when the term was almost over... I was so excited to finally finish it, and to think that it was actually a gift from Scoutmaster Yuri. But I can't think the scout- I can't tell the Scoutmaster about what happened to my journal. Taiga would just be expelled if I did. I shouldn't really think about this for now. There's still lots of things to be, do to be done today anyways. Kitaro? Oh, Kitaro, you're already awake? Oh, yeah. 
I guess I woke up earlier than usual today because you're stressed. I mean, that normally happens to me when I stress, when I only have like four hours of sleep and then don't fall back asleep. Um, that's why I have melatonin. It's really nice. Are you at least feeling any better, Ketoro? Last night was really rough for you. Uh, I'm all right, Natsumi. What happened stings, but we can't really do anything about it. Ketoro. Hey there, guys. Rise and shine. Oh, you two are already awake. Good morning, sir. Is there an activity today? Well, well, no, but we're about to have a special announcement. Can you wake up everybody else and gather at the mess hall for me, Nasumi? All right. Roger. Yes, fan bitch, awesome. thanks. Awesome. To see you boys there. Huh? A special announcement, huh? I wonder what it could be. Well, it is a little early for an assembly. It must be something important if we're not following the usual schedule. And here is all three of our other bitches. Squat up. What's going on? What's going on, guys? <laughs> Me is Mr. Perfect back to being a naggy mom again. Me too, Yoichi fucking me too, bitch. Oh, good, you guys are awake. Sir Aiden just came by and asked us to gather at the mess hall for a special announcement. Aren't all announcements special, even if they're all the same boring thing over and over again? Well, I guess we just have to go and find out. Hmm. Let's get ready and take a bath then. Ugh, fine, like I have a choice. Yeah, well guess amazing. what? Well, I don't have to wait them uh, up to tell them to wash up this time. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one who's starting to change, huh, Keitaro? Are you alright, Are you, all right, Keitaro? you seem to be spacing out. He's still thinking about his journal, bitch. If you want, you can just skip the announcement this morning. I can just inform the scout masters you're not feeling well and, and tell you all about it. Uh, no, Natsumi, I'm really fine. I understand you're still a little bit upset from last night, Keitaro, so just let me know if there's anything I can help, okay? Uh, of course, Natsumi. Thank you. Uh, uh, you stop with that fucking face, you fucking slut. Alright, all right, then. Let's get ready, too. Yes, we're all gonna have nice, neat, fun bath time. Okay, cool. We don't got it. All right, campers, listen up. We've gathered you all here today because I and my fellow Scoutmasters have decided we need your help. Thanks. I know you need our help, Dad, so let's get to the business, bitch. Why am I shimmy? Why? I've had two. I only literally only had a shot. What the fuck is wrong with me? Most of you aren't aware of it, and I don't want to burden you with it, but I regret to inform you all that. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. I, for I forgot I'm still sitting on my wallet. I regret to inform you all that Camp Buddy is in a tight situation, but after discussing it with your sound masters and our camp president, we've all come up to uh, uh, all come up with the solution. We are all a big family here, and every family should deal with their problems openly and together. Thus, we'll be asking for all of you to help gather to get the camp back on its feet. Thus, we'll be asking for all of your help to get the camp back on its feet. Thanks, Yoshinori. Like, thanks for repeating yourself, but okay. We've decided to hold a fundraising activity and, a, and an advertisement campaign for all of you par to participate in. Yoichi's like, bye, I'm done. Yeet. See ya. We're all doing this to promote the camp better and hopefully gather more recruits for next year. I'll be in charge of getting the word out to the public. We will go door to door to promote Camp Buddy, handing out the flyers to the community for, uh, to publicize our camp and possibly gather potential enrollees for next year. You're going a little bit underneath the box, bitch, but whatever. <laughs> and for anybody interested in a bit of creativity, please feel free to join in my brochure making activity as well. At your service. Meanwhile, I'll be hosting a little bake sale. Anyone who's got some skills in the kitchen can come see me if you'd like. All of you are free to volunteer for any of the different programs you want to work with. So I know that Yoichi was out going door to door, um, Yuri was doing some stuff with some art, and then Aiden's doing stuff with cooking. So that leaves, um, Yoichi being with Yoshinori, uh, Hunter being with Yuri, and Hiro being with Aiden. But what the fuck does that lead Natsumi with? Like, I wanna know. Also, if you'd like to come up with an idea of your own that could help, don't hesitate to speak up. We'd love to hear them. All right, everyone, once you've decided what activity you want to do, please come to the appropriate Scoutmaster to be in. Dismissed. <laughs> Yoichi's like, I'm fucking done, bye. Isn't this exciting, guys? There are so many different activities for us to try. <laughs> I kind of got my eye on that bake sale, though. 
Oh boy, this is gonna be so cool. I never really sold anything that I've cooked before. Guess what? I do that every single day, bitch. Uh, 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 uh. That's a lie. I actually only do it like two times a week because I only work in the kitchen twice a week. Yoichi? How about you, Yoichi? Oh, wait, how about you, Yoichi? Have you thought about what you're going to help the camp with? Ugh. Can't believe those scoutmasters are making us help with the stuff they're supposed to be taking care of. Come on. Oh, come on, Yorichi. This is our chance to really help the camp out. Fine, fine. fine. I'll go look for something to do. <sighs> what boy's hopeless? Uh... What about you guys? What activities are you going to join? Hmm. hmm. Sounds like that brochure making activity is where I can help out with the most with. Uh... Oh, it's great that you both found something that you can do and really enjoy too. Well... I'm still thinking on what I should do for my activity. Unlike you two, I don't really have a skill set that's specif that specifically useful for this campaign. That's why I got, like, kind of confused. Well... well, you and Kato are pretty good at everything <laughs> At everything. once you guys get the hang of it. There should be no problem. That's right. Yeah, maybe you should go with Kato, like, back in the badge urging activity. I'm sure you guys will be able to contribute something really unique to the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope so. I want to be as useful to this campaign as you two will be. <laughs> I guess we're all eager to help, except for Yuichi, even though he's like, fine, fucking whatever, I live here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to bake today. I'll just be like back home. I'll see if Broad Aiden wants me, uh, will let me use some of the same recipes, though. Mind if I go ahead and get started? Right. Sure thing, Hiro. Alright, see you guys later. Bye, deuces. I guess I should go to Miss Yuri for my activity, too. Let's just all meet once we're finished with our activities for the day, then. Of course. Of course, Hunter. Good luck with your activity. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun, you two. What do you say, Ketro? Want to pet up with me again? Sure. <laughs> sure, Natsumi. I don't mind. Maybe we can go back into the alley. There's no alley. Maybe we can go back into the soccer field and... Th Yes. All right. Awesome. Now let's try to think of what we can do to contribute. Maybe you prefer something, Ketro? Uh, I don't really mind anything. I can't think of anything right now. I'll leave it up to you. Can't we just join other groups? I don't really mind anything. Uh, I'll just gonna go with that one. I don't really mind any, act mind any activity, Natsumi. Hmm. Maybe we can do something you'd really enjoy too. Hey there. Hey guys! Oh, hey Seto, what's up? Are you? Oh, are we gonna be part of the fucking video making? Hi there. Oh, hi Seto. Um, I couldn't help but overhear what you guys are saying. Yeah, that's right. yeah. <laughs> we're really not sure how to help out around here. Really? Really? I'm surprised. I thought you guys would be off helping Scoutmaster Yoshi like usual. Either that or oh wait, right? He was Californian. Hold on. Either that or something would have asked you or someone would have asked you to to join them already. I'm sure most people will want to have you on their team. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody asked us yet. I think everyone's just ex uh, excited getting started with their own activities for now. Well, why don't you both team up, team up with me then? I have this awesome idea to promote this camp and I think you two are just the guys for it. Oh? oh? What you have in mind, Seto? Well, I was thinking maybe we could, like, try to advertise Camp Buddy online. I mean, everyone's basically on their phones and computers 24-7 now. How many times have you guys seen me on my fucking phone recording? Like, too many, bitch. By the way, it's 12-11. Um, so I think a huge chunk of people will be able to get the word of the camp if we go digital. Oh, that's really smart, Seto, but... What are we going to do for the ad? And how are we going to do it? Well, like, I don't know yet. Huh? You don't know? Hey, it's a good idea though, isn't it? I'm also, I'm also actually trying to recruit you guys because you might know a little something about marketing. Hmm. Well, the only digital marketing I really know is TV commercials. But, but I don't think we have the budget or equipment to make a full-fledged commercial yet, Seto. We've also had to register a commercial on a TV station, which is just as impossible. Yep. Yeah, that's like a little too much, not to mention pricey. Hmm, maybe we should ask around, I'm sure somebody will be able to. <clears throat> <laughs> We're all shook. We're all like, what the fuck? That's right. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right, Katero. We should go ask someone. <clears throat> Highly. I have overheard that you might require knowledge of the field of marketing. Well, I mean, like, this might be something that Lee's, like, pretty good at, though. Well. 
Well, I hate to exalt myself, but my intellect will be more than enough for being of service on this matter. Wow. Oh, wow, that's convenient. Maybe Lee can help us out. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Are you serious? Are you guys sure? This is, like, Lee that we're talking about. <laughs> Once we ask him for his help, he'll never leave us alone. I think it's alright, Seto. If he can help us, then why not? What? Well, like, aren't you guys enemy? He's telling us lackey, isn't he? Well, well, well a, a lot of stuff happened, and we're friends now. Oh, oh I see. Uh, we should at least hear him out for what he has to say. Well. So, will you all be availing of my expertise? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, Lee. We're actually having trouble deciding how we'll be advertising Campari digitally. Digital advertisement should be very easy. There are just a few points you'll need to take into account. The first, of course, is the overall theme you'll be applying to the advertisement for everyone's consideration and evaluation. Wow, okay, Lee, okay, uh, I need to take a, like, a... I need to take a sip of water before I do with this fucking voice anymore. Okay, I'm good. And the second is the platform you'll be using to promote it. And from what I've heard so far, I would say that televised media is rather obsolete. Well. Thus, my recommendation for your digital advertisement would be the internet. Um. Just how long were you even listening to us? <sighs> that means we'll either be making an internet video ad or a poster ad. Hmm, a poster, huh? I think Hunter's group is already making that one. But, but the video sounds quite interesting and exciting. I mean, YouTube can go fucking bazooka, bitch. Like, that's not even a fucking way to describe it. Like, YouTube can do so much shit for someone. Like, it's insane. I suggest that we do something informative. A cinematic that will showcase all the camp's facilities and activities. Oh, oh that's a great idea, Lee. Kind of like a, like a virtual tour. I think I saw one of those before. That does seem plausible. A digital audience will allow us as a wider scope of customers, after all. But I do have one more concern. It's the specific medium we'll be utilizing to publish our infomercial. As I was saying, uh, you can leave that to you can leave that to me, Lee. I can just like post it on all my social media. Then it's settled. We'll be doing an informative video for Money Can Money. All right. Sounds like a plan. Although, shouldn't we tell Scatmaster Yoshi about this? Well. I mean, unlike the base girl or the art department, we don't have a Scatmaster guiding us. I think we should get his approval first before we get started. Precisely. Agreed. Sadawa and I can remain here while you and Kainara ask him. What? What? I'm staying here with you? No complaint, Seto. That, that is much to be done, and it's necessary to have at least one person with me for as an intellectual peer review. We have, the legal we have the legalities for to you two, Natsumi and Kato. Please report back to us as soon as we are being approved. Affirmative. Affirmatively. We'll get back to you soon. Go. God, oh my god. Doing his voice is so tiring. It's one of my favorites to do, though. Now, follow me, Lee Seto. We can begin our discussion on the table, and I'll present to you an organized flowchart and how this activity should be proceeded. <sighs> It's just said I was not having it, bitch. <laughs> Looks like we get got to, we got ourselves bitty in an instant, Ketoro. Yeah, but it does sound like a lot of fun, though. I'm kind of excited to see what we can come up with for the camp. Uh, I'm glad that you're excited for this, too. We should go now. now, shall we go look for Scott Master Yoshi? Great, Natsumi. And, ooh, I might be cutting it a little bit short. We're going to leave that for the next episode. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope you had a wonderful time watching this. I hope you had a wonderful time watching me find out that Camp Buddy is going to a shit show right now. And we just got to help it get back up on its feet, bitch. Like, what's up? Make sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe on some below. You know how about for the YouTube right out. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss up on any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.